I can't find anything in this apartment. It looks like it's been ransacked by the KGB. <laughs> I definitely need to spend some time cleaning my apartment today. I tell you what, I've, I've let it go a little too bad. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting ready to go pick up some packages and run some errands on the Brahmi, which I just cleaned. I gave it a sponge bath. You know, it was getting really, really dirty after this last week. I've been riding it all during the snowstorm we had last week. It has gotten so dirty. <laughs> I've taken your guys' advice, guys. I've taken your guys' advice, and I've been riding the Brompton a lot more. I know a lot of you are like, Brian, it's a bike. Ride it. Enjoy it. Have fun. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, it's just another day on the Brompton. It actually might warm up a little bit today, which I'm hoping it does because, oh, man, I could use some warm weather right now. I am so waiting for summer to get here. But unfortunately, every summer is just the same. I don't get to do as much as I would like to do. But, but that's going to change this summer, guys. And I know I say that every summer, and I know you guys are like rolling your eyes right now. But <laughs> come hell or high water, that was my New Year's resolution, man. I'm going to go and do more trips this summer. I'm going to go, and I've got a couple of surprises. Hopefully, I'm really, really hoping that they work out. I really am, because I'm kind of excited about the trip that I want to take. But I'm hoping everything works out, so we'll see. One thing that's on the uh, agenda, definitely, is to buy another Brompton. <laughs> I need another Brompton. I need a backup Brompton. I'm not going to ride the Chapter 3. I have been riding my original Brompton a lot, but... It's getting old, guys. It's getting old. It's starting to make a lot of those noises that us old people make when we, like, get up. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm starting to creak a little bit. Well, not as bad today. But my Brompton is starting to make those same noises, which means eh, Brahmi's getting a little old. We're going to be heading up to Thornton today, guys. I got to head up to Thornton and get a pair of work boots <laughs> or work shoes. Something more insulated to ride in the winter with. I need to get some uh, shoes that I can wear to work and I also can ride on the Brahmi with during the winter time because my vans that I normally wear are falling apart and they're not actually safety rated so I can't really use them at work. So we're gonna be going up to Thornton and looking for a pair of work shoes at a place that actually specializes in selling work boots and work shoes for people like me. So that's where we're headed for today. That's the bad thing, guys. That's the bad thing about uh, construction. <laughs> you got a mudslide down there. I ain't taking Brahmi through that, I'll tell you what. Getting to uh, places outside of the city so I can you know, get things I need is sometimes a pain in the butt when they have construction going on and they block off the trails and stuff like that. It, it can be trying sometimes. I 
probably shouldn't be inside this construction site, but there's no way around, man. Okay, that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> Finally made it through that conglomeration of nonsense and uh, we're heading on this little two lane road. We'll see how this works out. Oh, I got such a bad headache, man. I don't understand why I get, I don't understand how you can wake up with headaches. I imagine getting headaches during the day, but waking up with a headache, oh. We're in Thornton. I tell you what though, one of the most frustrating things about riding in Colorado is all the construction and road closures and it makes it really aggravating to get around my bicycle, I'll tell you what. I'm not a big fan of coming up here guys. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Thornton. I, uh, I don't like Aurora, I don't like Thornton. There's a couple other places in Denver I don't like. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because they're not very bike friendly, you know? It's just not very bike friendly at all. Every place the Google navigation has told me to turn, every single freaking place, it's been completely blocked off. <laughs> I just have no luck. I have no luck. Yeah, it's irritating, it really is. <laughs> I do not like coming up to this area. I do not. It's such a pain in the butt to get around. All right, guys, we arrived. What a pain in the butt that trip was. <sighs> All right, well, I made it up to Red Wing Shoes, so I'm gonna go in here and take a look and see what these guys got. A few moments later. All right, guys, got my safety toe shoes for work, so stop griping at me. They've been like griping and griping and griping at me to get safety toe shoes because they're like, well, they gotta be electrical rated in case I step in a puddle and there just happens to be a live wire in there or something. And then they gotta have the composite toe at least where if you drop something heavy on your foot, and believe me guys, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I've almost dropped a fuel cell on my foot before. And you would be surprised on how fast your foot gets out of the way. I don't think I'm gonna go back the same way because that was kind of a pain in the butt to get here. So what I guess I'll do is try to find an alternate way home. Oh guys, I have literally been home for hours now and I decided always What in the hell do you want? Can't you see I'm filming a video here? All right, bye. 
Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I've literally been editing for hours and hours, and I am just, oh, my eyes are glossing over. I'm just so... I kind of had to scrap what I was originally doing because um, I lost some of the footage to day three. I don't know what happened to it. So from the beginning to end, there's a little bit of a continuity problem. So I really need to kind of work on that. And I've been working on it for the last couple of hours and it's getting pretty late. So I think I'm gonna stop on that. Plus there's a game of Zelda that's been calling my name and I think I'm gonna spend some time playing that and just kind of relax and shut off my brain. Plus I think if I rescue Zelda from Hyrule's castle, I think she might be grateful. These are the shoes I ended up getting. Nice, light. I cannot wear boots. I cannot wear boots. They had a lot of different kinds of boots at uh, Red Wing Shoes. And unfortunately, I just cannot wear boots, man. They hurt my feet. But in an industrial environment like I'm in, you need steel toes, you know? And then of course, you need an electrical rating. I already wore these up to the store. I wanted to walk in them to see how they felt. I should have done that before I actually uh, bought them, but oh well. Anyway, they're very, very comfortable. I, I enjoy them. The only problem is, is they're not very insulative. So they're not really gonna work well for riding back and forth to work in the winter time. I looked for a waterproof insulated shoe, but they just didn't have any. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find anything that served all of my purposes, but these will work great while I'm at work. I think I'm gonna get another pair of van boots for riding back and forth to work because my vans actually worked really well last winter. So. They're just falling apart because I've been wearing them at work every single day. So yeah, I definitely need a new pair of those. And they're also very comfortable riding boots. It just goes to show you, you can't find everything you want in one shoe. Guys, I should have day three of my Rocky Mountain folding bike trip edited within the week. I'm hoping everything. I've had to completely rework the whole video because of the missing footage. So I should have that out very, very soon. It's just taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I really want to thank you guys for sticking with the channel. I really want to welcome all the new subscribers to this channel. This channel has actually grown quite a bit. I'm actually surprised. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are the best. You're like one of the best audiences on YouTube. But I got a lot of stuff I've got to do, so I got to get to it. I just wanted to say thank you. Thanks for watching the channel, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.